Brian Kirk with Eat Tomato Beat, taking the road less travel with another cost of living uh, video. Today we're doing Albania. Yesterday was uh, Kabul, Afghanistan. Today we're doing Tirana, Albania. Uh, yesterday, just some feedback on that video. Um, I put the national or the that non-alcoholic beer is available and it's pretty uh, popular amongst uh, locals in Kabul. Um, it's uh, something from the West that they can enjoy without uh, breaking the rules of their country. So that's just a little follow-up on last yesterday's video. Today we're doing Albania, which is number two in country in alphabetical order. Population of 2023 of 2.8 million, with a land area of 27,400 27, uh, kilometers squared, with a density of 103 population persons per kilometer squared. Okay, so now we're going to go into... Once again, all these numbers are available on numbeo.com, N-U-M-B-E-O.com. Um, these are um, information that is to, given by people who live in these areas that want to give the um, their data to the, pop, the website. It's all user-based, so uh, if something wrong in here, it's just what is available on the website. I've never been to Albania, so I don't know how the prices are compared to what they say on this site. So if they are different, please put that in the comments. Please also update your, the information on Numbio so people have the correct information. So there's a bunch of different categories that we're going to cover on here. Uh, first one, as usual, we do the restaurants. And this is all in U.S. dollars. Um, first of all, we'll just do a summary. A family of four house uh, estimated monthly costs are... Uh, $2,572.80 without rent. A single person estimated monthly cost are $716.30 without rent. Um, so that's a bit of information there. It's a lot more expensive than Kabul, Afghanistan. Um, for example, restaurants, a meal in an inexpensive restaurant is going to cost you $10.77. A meal for two people in a mid-range uh, restaurant three course is going to cost $53.87. So if you remember yesterday's, quite a big increase. Uh, uh, McMeal, I believe. Let's take a look. McDonald's in Albania. Let's see. There are no McDonald's or Starbucks in Albania. So there's some information for you. But there is actually no um, of the big name, big two Starbucks and McDonald's for meals in Albania. Uh, so the equivalent, we'll say a combo meal, uh, is going to cost you $7.92. Um, domestic beer, and the beer I've been able to find of choice is uh, Korka, Korka, K-O-R-C-A beer, and they have a number of different beers. Uh, there's also a beer Tirana, El Bar, El Bar, uh, Stel, uh, Stella, and uh, Keon Lager. So there's a few different ones. And Peja, these are more of the Puka beer. So there's a, a few local beers, uh, different um, types, uh, whatever you like to feel, uh, whatever your, your, your favorite is. Domestic beer for half a liter draft beer is going to cost you $2.69. So if you're a beer drinker, very good prices for a beer. Imported beer for a 0.33 liter bottle, you're going to cost you $3.77. Not bad price for beer drinkers as well. Cappuccino is pretty close to being what it was in Afghanistan. It's $1.82 and it was under $1.50, I believe, in, uh, in Kabul. Once again, this is in Tirana, the capital of Albania. A Coca Pepsi, a Three three liter bottle it's going to cost you a dollar fifty seven, and a bottle of 0.33 liter bottle of water is going to cost you eighty four cents. This is all in a restaurant, mind you. So obviously we got different prices in the market, which we're going to uh, give out to you in a few minutes. Um, so here we go. Actually, in the markets, in the market uh, milk one liter it's going to cost you a dollar ninety nine. A loaf of fresh white bread five hundred grams dollar one. Rice. Uh, white, one kilo, $2.21. Eggs, regular, 12 a dozen, $3.54. Uh, 
Uh, no one's answered my question yesterday so far about the eggs, whether they can be left out at room temperature in Afghanistan or Kabul. I believe they're okay to be in Albania. Most places in Europe, you can leave your eggs out for a number of days without being refrigerated. That's something that happens more in North America with the eggs being refrigerated. Local cheese, that's something that needs to be refrigerated. It's going to cost you $12.29 for a kilo. Uh, chicken filet, uh, one kilogram, $7.69. Beef round, one kilogram or equivalent back leg red meat, going to cost you $14.38. That's pretty, I, I don't remember the exact number for Afghanistan, but it cost quite a bit more for the beef. Uh, I think it was like $7, something like that. So if I'm wrong, correct me. Apples, one kilo, $1.62. Bananas, one kilo, $2.53. Oranges, one kilo, $1.82. Tomatoes, one kilo, $1.88. Potatoes, one kilo, a dollar twelve. Onions, dollar twenty nine for a kilo. A head of lettuce, you're looking at going to be spending a dollar fourteen. And here's that price where we come back to the difference between markets and restaurants. So there's always going to be an upsell on the or a higher cost on the uh, restaurant version of the drinks. So uh, bottle of water for a 0.33 liter bottle of water in the restaurant, you're looking at eighty four cents. Uh, for a bottle of water, 1.5 liter, you're looking at 66 cents in a grocery store. So you're, times, you're almost adding a little bit over three times the amount, and you're um, saving 18 cents. Um, so you get the, the bigger one at a, at a, um, at a grocery store. Uh, the one thing about getting it, uh, you, you want to be stocking up on water when you're in a, rest, at a grocery store, just because if you're not used to the normal water, Pretty sure Albania with water is pretty safe to drink, but um, just be safe if you're from another place and your stomach's not used to the local water. Sometimes it can be a bit of a challenge, so bottled water is the way to go. Um, we're not talking about Africa here. We're talking or um, parts of the Middle East. We're just talking about Albania, which is part of the Balkans, and um, there shouldn't be too much of a difference. A bottle of wine, mid-range, you're looking at $10.77. Domestic beer, uh, 0.5 liter bottle, $1.37. So once again, beer is very cheap in this country. So by all means, drink lots while you're there. Domestic, or sorry, uh, imported beer, 0.33 liter bottle. You're going to be spending $1.94. So that's for getting your Stella or your Heineken or um, Modelo, Budweiser, things that are imported to Albania. Uh, cigarettes, 20 pack Marlboro, you're looking at 377. So once again, we're in the Eastern Europe where things for cigarettes are very popular. So it's a little cheaper. So $3.77. I think about the prices here. I don't smoke. Uh, I don't know what the cost is, but I know you're paying like over 12, 15 bucks for a pack of Mar Marlboro. So, um, now we're on to transportation, a uh, one way ticket, local transport, looking at 43 cents. A monthly pass on the regular price, you're going to look at $17.24. Normal start, uh, uh, taxi, normal tariff, $3.23. And for each additional kilometer, you're looking at also $3.23. For an hour of waiting time on in a taxi, and normal tariff is $15.62. Gasoline for one liter, $2.06. So it is higher, much higher. It's almost double what it was in Afghanistan yesterday. From our poll yesterday and um, that's more than what we're paying here in Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada. I know um, a lot of American viewers do you have to do the conversion but $2.06 is for a liter is pretty high. Uh, we're paying I think $1.69 here right now. So Volkswagen Golf 1.4 90 kilowatt tread line, trend line or equivalent new car You're looking at $25,859.36. A Toyota Corolla sedan, 1.6 uh, liter, 97 kilowatt comfort or equivalent new car, $26,556.23. Utilities monthly, uh, basic is electricity, heating, cooling, water, garbage for an 85 meter squared apartment. You're looking at $102.06. Boal phone plan with uh, calls, 10 gigabytes of data plus. $15.98 and internet 60 megabytes per second or more unlimited data cable and ADSL $17.81 so it's a lot cheaper than Af in Afghanistan for internet so that's one thing sports and leisure uh, fitness club 
Uh, monthly fee for one adult, you're looking at $45.67. This is in the capital once again, so it might be a little cheaper in the suburbs. Uh, tennis court rental for one hour on the weekend, you're looking at $21.57. And cinema international release, one seat, $8.62. Uh, child care, preschool or uh, kindergarten, full day, private, monthly for one child, $235.61. International, primary school or yearly for one child, $4,969.54. So it's quite expensive for an international primary school. Clothing and shoes. Um, I'm, let's just take a look here. Sorry, we're doing research on the fly. Fly. Uh, yes, so is that just my question for a second here? Uh, one pair of jeans, Levi's 501 are similar. You're looking at $61.53. Uh, summer dress in a chain star like uh, Zara or H&M, it's $48.25. And yes, there are Zara's in Albania, especially in Tirana. One pair of Nike running shoes, mid-range, you're looking at $99.32. One pair of men's leather business shoes, $127.86. Rent per month uh, in an apartment, one bedroom in city center, $579.75. In an apartment, one bedroom outside of the city center, $392.37. Apartment, three bedrooms in the city center, $1,184.44. In an apartment, three bedrooms outside the city center, you're looking at $678.62. So it's almost half of the price for that. Uh, to buy an apartment price, uh, price per square meter to buy an apartment in the city center, you're looking at $2,805.17. And price per square meter to buy an apartment outside the city center, it is half basically, $1,477.55. The average monthly salary, uh, net salary after tax is $685.75. Pretty low. Mortgage interest rate in percentages, uh, Yearly for 20 year fixed rate, 5.83, so much cheaper than it was in Afghanistan, basically half of that. Um, just to uh, give you more information about the prices that are last updated in July 2024, so this has been updated a little bit more. And the, mo the closest nearby city is uh, Kamez or Kam Kamzi, 9.67 kilometers away. And sorry, there's a little bit of noise coming from outside here, so it's a little bit louder. So that is the prices of living in Albania, Tirana, for example. Once again, I cannot confirm that these are up to date. These are all user inputted on the website numbio.com. This is for Tirana, and this has been updated as early as less, at late, as late as July of this year, so this past month. I don't know how accurate they are, but this is a, just a number to go on. So if you're moving to, to Albania, do your own research, check out the prices, and um, you'll, be, you'll be fine. So until next time, tomorrow we will be going to, I believe, Algeria. And if you had a chance to listen to my new podcast, yet, the history of Algeria.com, that is on the podcast um, tab on uh, my YouTube page. Um, Two episodes up. Uh, there's a new one every Monday at noon Pacific time. If you have a chance to check those out, please go ahead and do that. Uh, I'd love to hear the feedback. We're going to be switching the audio, the narration. It'll be changed uh, for this upcoming episode. So if you've seen the, if you watched the first last two, excuse me, if you watched the last two episodes, um, you'll notice a change in narration for episode three, and hopefully it's for the best. Uh, until next time, keep eating your own beat, take the road less traveled, and have a great day.